Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them that are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may be done guilty before God. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation or mercy seat through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say at this time, His righteousness be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Now, it all hinges upon what we do with the Lord Jesus Christ. If we're prepared to receive him, if we're prepared to believe on him, as it says here, we'll be saved. God requires two things, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. So that all the world is guilty before God. We're all on the same level here separated from God because of our sin, that God wants us to come back to himself, the only way that can take place is through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified. Yes, he shed his precious blood for the redemption of our precious soul, that we might be in heaven and not be in that place of eternal torment called the lake of fire where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. So as we think about it, our guilt before God as sinners, that guilt can be taken away through faith in Jesus Christ. So I hope that as you heard this message, you will trust the Lord Jesus Christ for yourself as your own personal Saviour. See, it's unto all, but only upon all them that believe. Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to the salvation of your precious soul? Thanks for listening and watching. I hope you receive Jesus Christ for yourself.